what's going on guys welcome back to the gns truck and youtube channel oh what we've got today is one really really cool video this is probably one of my craziest loads yet it was a smaller boat it wasn't as big as what i'm used to pulling but this the difficulty level it, actually the smaller ones are pretty hard compared to the bigger ones um because where they come from where they go it's always harder spots um, so you're definitely going to want to watch this video to the end We got a lot of trucking in it. We got a lot of craziness from getting stuck police interactions getting unloaded We water unloaded this boat something i've never done before especially with this trailer I've done it with one of my other trailers, but it's a lot easier to do it with um, Oh, man, it's just crazy. So guys go and check out the video I just want to give you all a quick update. We are picking up the Air Force cab over tomorrow. It is finished. Done. Completely. Now we can start putting it back together. And uh, so I'm just here taking it easy, grilling. About to feed the family. Travis is over here hanging out. Fixing up driving uh, for the first time in life. Yep. He ain't been in a semi in like a month. He's been with me with Cletus and all that stuff. So um, we've actually, today's, well, yesterday's the first time I drove in a month in a mm -hmm. semi. So... Um, we got some crab legs, we got some hot dogs, some pork. We got all kinds of stuff here. I just found a bunch of stuff, started grilling. I love this new grill. So, um, we're gonna get something to eat. Travis is gonna get on the road, and you guys go check out this freaking awesome video. Guys, thanks for watching us, and uh, don't forget to leave us a comment. Um, hit the subscribe button, especially if you wanna be entered in the giveaway truck. We are about to give that thing away, and, uh, that video will be coming up pretty soon on the giveaway truck and update on it we're gonna go drive it and check it out see how it does um but send us an email with your story that'll get you entered to win the giveaway you got to be subscribed you got to leave us a, or send us an email to a.gentry6 at icloud.com and uh, we will be checking your emails putting your name in the hat and you got a chance to win the giveaway truck so guys go enjoy today's video we'll see you later Come here, buddy. Oh, dang it. There he goes. Come here, buddy. Come here, my wife wants you to raise. There we go. Come on. Dang, dang, went under the Peterbilt. There he is. Woo! Come on, buddy. Get you the tall grass, I'll catch your ass. Come here, little buddy. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Dang, it gets fast. Oh. Yeah, he's gone, guys. Dang. I almost had him. Come here, rabbit. I had to get my truck fired up and get out of here. Dang it. Come on, truck. There we go. Oh, Peter Bill is back. Who the heck is this mofo? Better not have ran over my rabbit. The big truck that comes over here. Look at that sexy Dodge, boys. What's this guy doing? All right, homies, just rock and roll out of this place. I'm running local today, so no loss. Only going 100 miles. Well, like 120 miles, but still. 
Well, not a log book. You don't need it. Not that close to the house. Quit arguing with me. is crazy. I don't know how I'm going to get this boat out of here. I barely got the truck in here with the trailer. I don't know what I'm going to do with the boat. I don't, look at that big barge. Man, that's huge. Like, look at that big mountain I just come down. Hairpin turns. Like that. All the way up through that hill. Where I just brought this rig down. And I don't know how I'm going to get this boat up it. But we'll figure it out. Definitely figure it out. I guess I'll pull up here out of the way. Like, uh, we figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah, up that road right there, all the way up that mountain. You can see it turns like it's a 90 degree turn up there at the top. I'll show it to y'all when we get out of here. But let's go see the boat. All right, guys, we're getting ready to load this thing up. Um, I got the bumper stretched out here. Here comes the boat now. I see it coming up the water. Right there. I can't really see it because of the lift, but it's coming. Um, so we're going to have to do, we're going to have to load this boat on the back of the trailer because of, uh, it's got to be put in the water. Like to where we're going, there's no lift, which I've, would never agree to put my boat in the water or my trailer in the water um but it is going into fresh water and we are planning on redoing the brakes and the wheel bearings on this trailer um before it ever goes back out anyway so i told him i would go ahead and do it this one time but i hate to i'm dreading it but guys i'll uh, get back on here once we get it loaded i ain't got no cameraman today so um i will get a video though all right guys we just got the boat set on the trailer sitting on six by six up here and we got our pads on They're good and tight and back here we had to do a little bit of creativeness but she's loaded Like you would think this would be like the easiest boat you could load, but it wasn't. It was actually a little bit one of the tougher ones, just the way the kill is and all that stuff. So we are we got it all sitting on the back axles. But we're loaded up. We're going to get on the road. I got a had a cop stop by, and he's one of the YouTube fans, and he's actually going to escort us out of here. So. Get me back to the interstate and then I can rock and roll. This won't be too bad. I think it's 12 foot wide. Um, it don't weigh but like 10, 12,000 pounds. It's all aluminum. It's got two 318 motors in it. V6 
38s and then uh, sitting like 14.8 right now, which we got to pull the top off of it. But we're going to get it strapped down and get on the road, guys. We're going to yank that top off real quick. Right and, uh, um, so what's a good ride out of here? Right? Just go well, back we're out? Gonna, we're going to go out here this way and just uh, I'll stop the road. Yep. We'll get in front of that uh, bait shop and I'll stop it right there. And you take a left and go up and hit I-24, cross right. the bridge, or go east and you're good. Okay, so I come in. When I come in, I come in this way and uh, come down that hill. Yeah. No. Okay. So when I get back out here on the road, though, do I go left or right? I'm gonna take you there, man. We're gonna go out okay. here. It's gonna come into the. It's gonna run into the same road. Go to the stop sign. We're gonna take yeah. a right. Go down uh, four or five hundred yards. Take a left. I-24 is right there. Oh really? Yeah, Nickajack. Where the Blue Bridge is. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. Man, I didn't even yeah. know that. Like, yeah. I come in a long way. <laughs> yeah. yeah sure. So at 24, back through Chattanooga, and then, yeah. Man, I appreciate no you. Problem, That's no awesome. Problem. Thank you. This officer is like, he's one of the fans for the YouTube channel, and stopped by here to say hi, and then he ended up saying he'd escort me out of here. So we gotta yank this top off, and then we're gonna get out of here.
been excited. Holy moly! We are getting it done, boys. Holy crap. Just rolling through Knoxville. The, not a good place to be rolling with an oversize, but we are rolling through Knoxville. Anyways, uh, so we're like 30 minutes away. And where we're going, guys, this truck and trailer does not belong. There is no way to justify what I'm about to do with this boat. But we gotta do what we gotta do to take care of our customers, so um, we're gonna do it. We're gonna take this thing up to Norris Dam, and we're gonna take the bumper off, unplug all of our lights, and we're going to back it in the water, and we're going to water unload this boat. So um, I'm getting ready to redo all the seals and bearings on this trailer anyways. I don't think we'll have any issues getting water in them, but um, since I'm getting ready to do it all, I told him I'd go ahead and back it in the water and just help him out. He's went through hell trying to get this boat moved anyways, so um, we're gonna make it work. All right guys, there's the boat owner. He's gonna guide us in this place. Excited to get this beast off my trailer. I'm supposed to go pull a big old huge tiara tomorrow, but I'm really thinking about I don't know. It's pretty risky, it's very expensive and very wide. It's gonna be it's gonna take a week to do it. And I've got two more of these I can do here local, make a lot and make the same money. So I don't know what to do. I'm trying to get one of my buddies to haul the other boat because I do want to take care of the customers. So I don't know. One of those business decisions is the bigger stuff I haul. It seems like like I get a lot of business off of that. People like to see that big stuff being hauled.
clear. bottomed out at the moment but we are trying to fix that situation I don't have a jack dang all the tires is off the ground that's crazy all oh, the airbags went down let me see if I can get this thing to jack way up believe that oh, we had wood under our jack the airbags up we've done everything to get this yeah don't turn them around leave these down here yeah all right yeah i need this i need to reset my airbags real quick Okay. If we don't, it'll. Can we pull off the sides so we can let? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let this traffic through. Um. All right, guys, we're back. We're gonna try it at a different angle this time. It's gotta go down there in that water, so uh, this could get very interesting. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I can tell you right now, this thing don't like backing up off this road. We're gonna try it at a different angle this time and have him in the back just in case we're gonna pull it.
What's up? Remember when they did get next to that Coca Cola truck, and then or where that Coca Cola truck is, and then uh, go ahead and unstrap it and all that. Will it run with that top off? I don't know. They try it. I haven't tried it. We'd have to probably isolate some wires okay. to make sure they're not touching. How far are you taking it from here? Are you going to dock it here? No, it's docked uh, probably about a mile by water. Man, that water is so pretty. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well let's let him move. Or what? Yeah, let's just go there and then uh, one strap it and see if we can isolate like some wire and get it running. Alright. Back in the house, see what happens. Guys, the trailer got a bath. We lost a couple pieces of wood, and my um, toolbox. We didn't really think we'd have to go that deep, but we did. So, uh, what's that underneath the boat? Is that a piece of carpet or is it wood? Yeah, I think so. I'll get it to this. This guy's one. Oh, you're good, brother. I'm going to pull out and then pull back over here. And then... First water launch.
this truck can gross ten thousand dollars a week and not have to run more than a thousand miles i'll uh i'll do that all day long i have to leave the house other than going uh you know local close i like it so um, i've got this one i've got one more to do out of Maribel, and that'll be my week it only goes like 100 miles, so like leaving the house, going to get it, and then delivering it, and everything 100 miles. So that'd be a nice little easy week. We got about 240 miles tied up in this one total, and then uh, we'll have so 340, 400 miles tied up in the whole deal. And uh, we can do that at 10,000 bucks. Yeah, we're doing good. Easy job, easy, 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 easy. Thumbs up. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, y'all get to go across the dam with me. Here we go.